What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a, another episode of Bait It Podcast. I'm here with Andy Melanakis. Hi, I love you. I'm also here with Chad, a.k.a. Anything for Views. Yo, what's good, fam? Mm-hmm. And this episode has been brought to you by Blue Apron, an amazing home food delivery service that mails you amazing ingredients of food that you cook yourself at home. It's fresh. They're always changing the menu. They have really, really good ingredients. They don't give you too much or too little of a recipe. They give you the exact amount to make amazing meals. And it's very affordable, only $10 per meal. And if you use code bait it, they hook you up. So go to blueapron.com slash bait it and use code, code bait it for the hook up. All right, uh, let's get into this. Um, this episode obviously is going to be about the whole PewDiePie situation. And I know, um, I mean, it seems kind of silly to explain it because almost everyone knows what the hell is going on. But for the few people that do not know uh, what exactly is going on, basically, uh, PewDiePie made some jokes about Fiverr uh, all the way back in January 11th, where he was picking on the website for being absolutely ridiculous, where you could pay $5 to get people to do and say anything. And he challenged people to say ridiculous stuff, like two Indian guys to say death to all Jews, subscribe to Keemstar, and they actually did it. He also paid a guy who uh, acts like Jesus to say that Hitler did nothing wrong, and he did it. So they did this outlander stuff for $5, and that was the joke. Well, recently, a Wall Street Journal um, article came out where they were questioning Disney of why they would let this evil PewDiePie and his anti-Semitic jokes um, be partnered with Maker Studios or Disney, and uh, they responded they, by dropping him. him. Yeah, he's gone. He's out of the works. And then... And then also YouTube themselves dropped PewDiePie's uh, YouTube Red show known as Scare PewDiePie. Um, and, uh, and and there's been a lot of controversy over this. How now, much recently, money? No, no. no. Let, first, let's just cover the topic of how much money do you think Wall Street Journal, not that it really matters to PewDiePie, the money, but how much money do you think Wall Street Journal cost PewDiePie? Millions. Millions. And do you yeah. also think that Disney or Maker Studios really gave a shit about what he did? No. And I'll tell you why. iDubs is partnered with Maker Studios. Yeah, well, he, wait, he's, wait, not, wait. He's, he's not in such a big spotlight as PewDiePie. PewDiePie is but let's, the YouTube let's, guy. Let's talk about this. It's not about anyone caring about what someone does it always it always comes down to one thing and that's dollars that's yeah oh we're brand friendly oh we're kid friendly you know what because you'll lose advertisers and you'll lose dollars and sponsors it, it's it's not about oh i'm so offended like nobody really gives a fuck it's all about when it comes to and i know firsthand of being a vulgar ass weird ass comedian Hardly getting wait, any wait, brand wait, deals. Wait. Like no, I get it, but get to get to the point, Andy. Are you saying that Maker actually dropped PewDiePie because they were afraid that they're not going to be able to get sponsored deals uh, through Maker as a whole? It's, Probably. Well, it's a hundred percent that it's all. It's always about money, and like you know, you could say you could say it's not about money. You could say it's about brands, but but it all boils down to money. And what would have why, ha what why, would have why is, happened? Why is Idubs? Why is Idubs still partner with Maker? Because then? Idubs isn't in such a fucking massive spotlight like PewDiePie is. Because like, yeah, like, he's he, even yeah. Though he's, he, sorry I, to interrupt, am, but even I, though he's so big, he's not on their radar. The second Wall Street Journal does a fucking story about Idubs, he'll get dropped from Maker the next mm. fucking day. But that is the problem. You, you, that is the problem. You think Maker, that is the problem. Maker the did Wall see Street this, Journal. What PewDiePie did, this and they were is like, the. Can you will, hear me? Yeah, yeah, no, no. But Maker, Maker would have seen this, all right, and gone, eh, fuck, we don't care. But then Wall Street Journal was that annoying cunt that comes through their front door who also have a massive platform and harass the crap out of them. Like, why are you promoting The this? Wall Street Journal does not have a massive platform. The Wall Street Journal is not big. The Wall Street Journal should not have influence, and this is my problem. 
Who the fuck in this space is listening to the Wall Street Journal? No old one. People. Disney. Old people. Disney. Disney. They shouldn't be listening to them because the Wall Street Journal is dying. Well, it is dying. They listen to them Much anyway. like many millions of Jews. Oh, so fucking <laughs> true, Andy, my dude. Uh, so fucking true. Well, Blue Apron, it, Blue Apron, it was nice knowing you. See ya. <laughs> yeah, well, Blue Do you Apron. think... Do you think PewDiePie should actually sue the Wall Street Journal for um what's it yes. called um defamation what's it called? slander defamation or yeah. libel or whatever I don't fucking know yeah yeah because the Wall Street Journal went out of its way to say that they were anti-Semitic jokes okay and I I don't I don't think that they were I don't think they could be considered anti-Semitic jokes yes because they can. I don't think it could be because Death what to all it, Jews what is it, as anti-Semitic. It doesn't matter the listen, context. Listen, 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 listen. He was trying to see if these people on Fiber would say something that was wrong. All right. He acknowledged that saying death to all Jews is something very wrong. And as a social experiment, he wanted to see if these people would say something that's very wrong. And that's why the joke works. The joke works because PewDiePie knows that this is a wrong thing. This is a bad thing. This should not be said. All right. Yes. But when it, you, do you think when PewDiePie posted that video on YouTube, he was like, I'm not going to get any backlash for it. Everyone's going to find it funny. Fuck no. A lot of people would have been really offended and pissed off by that. I'm not offended and pissed off. I'm the last person that'd be offended or pissed off by it. But do you really, really think he posted that thinking, eh, okay. nothing bad? Where are happen. the million? Then where are the million dislikes on but, the video? But also, Keem, you're a hundred percent right when it comes to the context. You have the context nailed. Um, does it? It's still an anti-Semitic joke. Just because he didn't mean it and he's not anti-Semitic doesn't mean that it's not an anti-Semitic joke. If you say some crazy hate speech, even though there's context and there's and, and there's a story behind why it's funny, um, it's still it's still in the category of anti-Semitic. It, it, it's not an anti-Semitic joke. It's a Fiverr joke. That joke is a Fiverr joke. Well, it's not an anti-Semitic now joke. Now you're playing well, semantics, let, and if let, you want to argue let, against stop, that, then it's going to be anti-Semantics instead of anti-Semitic. Let's stop dancing around the idea of the <laughs> joke. All right, let's just understand. Okay, this is from my perspective. What I think PewDiePie did was fucking hilarious. Yeah. It was funny. It was good gag. However, I can definitely see a lot of people that would look at that and go, well, that is fucked up. Not me included, but people would look at that. Say and go, Hitler. Exactly. He, and you know no, what the media did? did? The media That's saw this and was like, fuck yeah, we can twist those nipples, we can twist that story out of proportion, and we can make fucking bank off of it. And that's what you're, they you're, did. You're, you're both wrong. You're both wrong because if you watch the original video, uh, PewDiePie says, I apologize, I'm not anti-Semitic. I just like didn't think that they would actually do that and I can't believe they did it. The whole the whole point is will these people say crazy shit? It wasn't anything to do with Jews. It wasn't anything to do with anti Semitic. He could have said uh 911 was a cool thing. He could have said um I, I don't fucking know. We know the I, meaning behind it though. We're agreeing with you yeah, on that. Yeah why point. yeah we're agreeing with you. Why are you repeating yourself? We 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 hundred percent agree the meaning Behind. Then stop saying anti-Semitic because it's not an anti-Semitic joke. He didn't it, mean know it in an anti-Semitic yeah, we, we know way, it's not that, but, but dumb actual... people would think it is. You, you, you're, I'm not. Don't think as. I'm if sorry. It's you you guys, it. you guys just said that it was an anti-Semitic joke. It was an anti-Semitic. No, joke. the meaning and of I'm it telling you that it's not. That the phrase that he used is anti-Semitic. The meaning behind it was not anti-Semitic. I'm gay. All right, next topic of interest. PewDiePie, PewDiePie acknowledges that death to all Jews is wrong and, and, and is a very unacceptable thing to say. Yeah, he duh. acknowledges that in the video. So you can't walk away from that saying PewDiePie is anti-Semitic. No, you can't. The, he, no, right. because the, the whole pe point, will, the whole no, point of him saying that is that it is wrong. Do you the think, whole point honestly, of him can, using you, that can, is that it is wrong. That, do you think people at Wall Street Journal wrote that article actually thinking that PewDiePie was a racist? 
No. If they didn't exactly. do the research. Yeah, all that too. They didn't do the research. They just saw the VODs of him getting five guys to hold up the sign saying Well, then death stop, or stop, stop, tickling, stop tickling their balls then. Stop saying like shit like, oh, well, you know, it was anti-Semitic or, you know, there were going to be consequences for this. When you say stuff like that, you give those who have manipulated the situation, taken this situation out of context, a fucking bullet in their Keem, gun of bullshit. Keem, you're arguing with yourself. We're on the same page. We're, yeah, we, that's exactly the point. What I'm, what I'm saying is, okay, put it this way, Kim. If you went and did that on your channel tomorrow, do you think there'd be any repercussions? Do you think there's no. one? Do you reckon one or two people would look at it and go, "That is fucked up"? No, people would, because people fucking hate you. People will use anything as ammunition against you, and that's what the Wall Street Journal have done. They've picked this up and gone, "Fuck yeah, we hate PewDiePie. We hate this platform that is overtaking us and putting us out of business. Let's use this as a firing range. Let's shoot it back at them." That's what they did. Well, you know, the consequences is now is that me and my team, we went to these reporters Twitters and we have found anti-Semitic tweets from them, from them. The reporters that made this fucking <laughs> video on PewDiePie. You found one from Jacksepticeye. That was funny. <laughs> we found anti-Semitic tweets from them. And, you know, here, here's the new developments of all this. All right. Is that we found these tweets, but they're. Let, let's talk about the Jacksepticeye thing. Yep. You know, the, the YouTube community has come out in support of PewDiePie because PewDiePie did nothing wrong. PewDiePie was innocent. PewDiePie did not make anti-Semitic jokes. PewDiePie made a joke about Fiverr, and that's the joke. But PewDiePie's good friend, Jacksepticeye, and a lot of people don't even understand why these two are good friends. Way back in 2013, PewDiePie, the biggest YouTuber on the fucking planet, gave a shout out to a not that well-known YouTuber known as Jacksepticeye and paved his way to be one of the biggest fucking names in gaming entertainment ever in the history of gaming entertainment. And he grew to be, you know, the Jacksepticeye that we know today. And they've developed a friendship through this. And the friendship was so strong that in this uh, YouTube Red series, Scare PewDiePie 2, Jacksepticeye uh, played a big role in this thing. Like, he was halfway, uh, he was in half of the episodes of Scare PewDiePie 2. I mean, they're really, really good friends. So you would expect that Jacksepticeye uploads a video in defense of PewDiePie through all this. But that is not what fucking happened. Jacksepticeye said, oh, what Felix did was really stupid and you know he should expect consequences for that and i'm okay with maker dropping him and like it was a very very fucking like a clear backstab to me and my view uh, uh of watching jacksepticeye's video and I, don't you guys agree i do I agree. agree i do i, 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 do, yeah, agree. I do agree to an extent i do agree and let me just finish and i'll let chad hit, hit it yeah, but yeah, um yeah, yeah. um it sounded like someone was scrambling, like trying to like be like, "Oh well, I, I'm not guilty by association, guys. Uh, uh, I don't believe what PewDiePie believes. Exactly. Uh, I, I'm scared for my spot. Um, oh wait, you think um, I'm gonna get any type of negative reaction because I'm friends with PewDiePie and he did all this? No, no, no. He was wrong. No, no. He could have been. He should have been dropped. Exactly. And I think exactly. That was bullshit. That's you hit the fucking nail on the head. The Jacksepticeye fucking video was nothing but him trying to distance himself from PewDiePie and this situation, and it's fucking disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. You know, the, this is the one time that PewDiePie actually need because PewDiePie is the biggest star on fucking YouTube. He doesn't need a fucking Keemstar defending him. He doesn't need, you know, Andy defending him or, or anyone else. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need H3H3 shouting him out. He is the biggest star. He doesn't need help from anyone this is the one opportunity this is the one time in pewdiepie's career that he actually needed help and you would think that his good friends would be there to back him up and jack septicai didn't this was a clear backstab i disagree i don't pussy think it was move. that at all it no was a pussy move yeah, it was a pussy move, but Jack was put Explain in the spot. Explain yourself, Chad. Because you called me Jack out on got, fucking Twitter. You said that everything's Jack, not black and white. Yes, I want to hear this, Chad. I want to fucking this is hear the problem. this, Chad. No, no, no. This is the problem, all right? You're seeing this so black and white. You just assume that it should be Jack jumping in the middle of this, putting himself in the middle of this, which he did not start, jumping in and defending his friend PewDiePie. Fuck off off from jack's point of view he's getting harassed by people online going why aren't you defending your friend why aren't you defending your friend why aren't you defending your friend jack is sitting there making fucking happy wheels let's players going oh what the fuck i don't want to be a part of this bro 
I don't want to be fucking put in the middle of this. I didn't do anything. This then why do you make the video? Then why do you make the video? Yeah, then because make he was nothing. getting fucking hounded for it. I think he should not have By made the video. By who? Every fucking person on the internet. It's every called, single person because they're in the exact same community. It's called being a ride or die friend. Be a fucking ride or die friend. Yeah, you get a little flack something. from other from from shit your friend did. Man the fuck up and be like, yo, that's my dog and I stick by him. Chad, and fuck everybody that's like else. throwing a fucking A hundred percent right, Andy. Andy, five. Andy is a hundred percent right here. Chad, listen to me, no. okay? Jack Septicai is a fucking multi-millionaire. He doesn't need to to play his cards right and be PC and he doesn't need any of that. He is set for fucking life and the reason why he is set for life, for one, he makes entertaining videos, but two, because he got a shout out from the biggest fucking YouTuber on the planet, PewDiePie. And PewDiePie hasn't just shout him out once, PewDiePie has shout him out many times. Even recently, PewDiePie has been shouting him out, you know, and, and sending him love and support. So you know what? I'm sorry, bro, but when someone literally creates your fortune fortune for you or, or assist you in creating your fortune for you, you should owe them a little bit of fucking respect. Not fucking make a video you make where it, you're you just dissing yourself. You make it sound like he just threw him under the bus. That is not what happened. He did. He did. No. He fucking did. He got he, he got put in this situation where he felt like he needed to make a response. He he did not want to be a part of it. You can tell he sucked that he the other side's dick. He sucked the other side's dick instead of standing by his close fucking friend. Amen. And that's Amen. wrong. That's fucking wrong. And the thing is, is Jack Septicai is way more fucking powerful than the fucking Wall Street Journal. Why would this guy with so much power and so much fucking influence get on his fucking knees and suck these fucking pieces of shit that backstabbed and lied and manipulated about his friend? Once like, again, I'm black sorry, and Chad. White. He didn't suck that dick. Chad, I Chad, listen to me. Chad, listen to me. Yes, he did. Chad, listen to me. If some fucking, if the Wall Street Journal fucking lied about you, right, and said that you were um, a horrible horrible person that was teaching kids to eat fucking uh, pubic hair and they'd causing people right, to get probably. sick. They, yeah, they'd true. be right. That's but well, I don't give a fuck. I would fucking defend you. You want to know why? Because you're my friend, all right? I would defend you. And you would expect that your other friends to defend you. Not fucking upload a video and say, you know what? You know, uh, he deserved he deserved to get dropped. You know, he deserved to lose his sponsors. He he. I, I don't know. What were you sponsored by? Like Twitch or something? He deserved to get cut from Twitch. You know, he, he was doing this. Whole, you wouldn't expect your friends to fucking literally side with a company. He didn't a say in news the organization. He that lie. It. You're making it sound black and white again. He didn't say, ah, oh, he deserved it. No, Jack said, I'm not surprised it happened. Like, he didn't say, yeah, he fucking I'm not deserved surprised. It, he deserved it, it was a shitty move. It was a shitty move. And, you know, it, they, it, was stupid. it wasn't stupid a jokes. shitty move. It was a no, risky move. That's, he was putting, that's what he Jack was putting said. His fuck, he was putting his foot in the fucking edge pool, trying to be edgy, trying to be fucking cool. And he got backlash from it. Do I feel bad for PewDiePie? He Fuck didn't yeah. get backlash from it. He did not get backlash from it. What do you he mean did he didn't not get backlash? Get backlash. He got dropped by Maker. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. He uploaded backlash? that fucking. Listen to me. He uploaded that fucking video on January tenth of 2016 there was no backlash there was no hate there was no hysteria there was not videos calling out PewDiePie saying he was a horrible person none of this happened all right until a month later still when backlash. the Wall Street Journal I understand it I understand it's still backlash but you're talking about backlash from people that should never have been involved in the conversation in the first place since when is the Wall Street Journal part of our community they are not since when does the Wall Street uh, Journal have influence in the YouTube space? They do not. Obviously, and they, they should fucking not. do because but look they, what they just did. They oh. should. I don't know. The Wall Street Journal has a YouTube channel and they make really funny vlogs about thousand degree knives and shit. It's really funny. You, they're you not gotta, a part gotta, of us. Gotta, no, no, no. They're not you, a part of us. Gotta, they're gotta understand. Kidding. They might not be a part of us, but now it's a competition. You just said you, you said it yourself. Are they losing money? Are they they they're becoming irrelevant? YouTube is taking over. Yeah, would you agree with that? YouTube. YouTube should be themselves ashamed of fucking listening to the Wall Street Journal. They should be fucking ashamed. I agree with that. I, do. I think YouTube should be more. But when you've, ashamed when you've got than some when you've got Disney. something so big knocking on your door, going, and you can say as much as you want how how YouTube is bigger than the Wall Street Journal, but YouTube had the Wall Street Journal knocking at their door, yelling all this shit at them, and they're like, "Fuck it, let's." Just, I want it to go away. Let's You're just wrong. do what they say. You're said. wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. And let me tell you why. Because ever since PewDiePie made that fucking video, 
these fucking reporters were asking them over and over again, why, why are you letting PewDiePie make these anti-Semitic jokes? Why, why, why? And for a month, you know what YouTube and Maker did? They ignored them. They didn't do shit. Why is it that they actually came out and said that they were going to drop PewDiePie? Why is it that they did this the day after, the very next day after Maker co-founder Shay Carl uh, got caught in the DMs, in the fucking theory. DMs, Jesus fucking Christ. saying that he wanted this cam girl to sit on his face to the point he Shut couldn't the breathe fuck and up. unleash you and your a fucking giant theories, turd in man. his nostrils? You and your fucking yeah, conspiracy I don't, theories. Yeah, I don't see any correlation with that at all. Well, listen to me right now as so I can explain it very slowly. I'll tell you this, hold okay? on, before you say anything. If Shay Carl was a top, top Disney executive, maybe, maybe you could draw some lines together. But, like, some company that he left from, that Disney bought out, he bought... He didn't, he didn't leave. He didn't leave. He still has ties and still working with Maker Studios. Mm. No, he's in rehab, bro. Listen to me, okay? Team, just Shea sit Carl. on my face Shea until Carl. I can't breathe, okay? Shea yeah, Carl, <laughs> cow, th not even a funny joke. Shea yeah, Carl, can. the co-founder or co-founder of Maker Studios and still has a very, very uh, vibrant role within Maker Studios. And not only that, but he's all his friends still run the show over at Maker Studios, right? Uh, he gets exposed on a Sunday for, again, this is a family-friendly YouTuber, Shay Carl. He gets exposed on a Sunday for jumping in the fucking DMs with a cam girl saying some fucking outrageous shit, cheating on his wife, saying, you know, sit on my face, all this crazy shit, right? The very next day, the very next day, Maker Studios announces that they're dropping PewDiePie. A month after this video came out, a month. Why, why all of a sudden? Why all of a sudden? A month later, and why all of a sudden? The very next day after Shea Carl, and the result of that was is that nobody was talking about Shea Carl anymore. Nobody. The Shea Carl story died in less than twenty four hours because Maker made fucking waves with this PewDiePie story. All right. Then it's not. We're not over yet. We're not. Oh, we're not even close to being my done. Life now. Listen on, to me. I'm gonna stop Listen you there because I need to Listen run down to the fucking Bunnings and get a rope the noose, man. Yeah. Listen to also, me. The very next the day after that, the very next day after that, Maker Studios came out with an announcement that they were dropping partners and that they were firing people. Okay. The very right, next right. day. This, this all makes sense. Okay. This all makes sense. But can you explain why YouTube also dropped his YouTube Red series? Because, because of what Maker did. Okay. All right. Dude, because what what happened is Maker made news with this, dropping him, right? For fucking a good three or four hours, it was Disney dropped PewDiePie. And then because there was so much news around it, right, in that four hours, YouTube then responded like they needed to take action as well. Yeah, right? I but agree listen, with that part. Here's, here's, here's my main point. Here's my main point. And this is why it's very suspicious. Not just a conspiracy theory. This actually holds some fucking weight if you think about it, all right? Maker Studios... A lot of people would are, would think, well, they got to be making a killing on PewDiePie. He's the biggest YouTuber. No, you don't understand. When you are the biggest YouTuber on the planet, they probably pay you to be in the network. I know this because I have a deal right now where um, my YouTube network doesn't make any money on me at all. You just promote they that just brand. I promote. I'm so big on YouTube and have such a presence oh. that that. Oh. Uh, listen, I'm not. Oh, here we go with the ego shit. Come on, let's not get distracted. But my point is, mm -hmm. is that um, I'm so big and have such a presence that it is a value for me to be a part of a network because other people see that and they want to join the network, right? So, in order to get someone like PewDiePie in your network, I would assume that you have to not just give them a hundred percent rev share, but you also have to pay them a, a monthly or annual. Uh, uh, amount to have that person, you know, fly in your flag, Marker Maker Studios. So, if Maker Studios is losing money to the point where they're firing people and they're dropping fucking channels, all right. If they're losing money to the point where they're firing people and dropping, then then they're obviously going to want to get rid of their biggest expense, which I would assume would be PewDiePie. So they were planning on getting rid of PewDiePie anyways, no matter what. Then the Shea Carl story fucking comes out and they drop his ass the very next day because they were planning on telling him that he was going to go two days later. And 
anyways. And now nobody's talking about Shea Carl. We're only talking about this PewDiePie story. So this was a huge benefit to Shea Carl. He's off in rehab. Nobody's fucking talking about him. Nobody's talking about him at all. We're talking Can't about you him. you see what the yeah, fuck is going right on? Now. Yeah, we're talking about him right now because of me. Because I'm not going to let well, these motherfuckers. You should stop talking about him. You sound, like, you sound like a crazy guy in the fucking street with a tinfoil hat coming up with fucking conspiracy theories. Well, although, you sound although, like a stupid motherfucker oh, no, 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 that's not listen, putting the fucking about, facts I together. About, I was about to agree with you, although I will agree what you're saying makes sense, but I don't have the open mind to think that that's true. Um, One more time, and well, the last thing well, I'll say Keem on Well, doesn't last have the open mind to think that it's not true. That's the problem. Mm. No, no, if there is a possibility that it's not true, but this is the most important thing. Sunday, okay? Sunday. Shay Carl caught cheating on his wife in the DMs with a cam girl. Monday, PewDiePie getting dropped right, from Maker Studios. We get it, we get Tuesday, we get it. Maker Studios we get firing it, people and dropping channels. No, you don't get it. This is 72 hours we of shenanigans from theory. Maker Studios. We from Maker it. Studios. All right, we get that one. We just don't agree with it. Yeah. I, just think, I just think no one gave a shit about the Shay Carl thing. To the point where they'd carry on about it. Except his wife. They, we, Except we made a whole wife. fucking oh. podcast on it. Uh, we made a whole podcast on it. We made a whole podcast on it. Yeah, but after the podcast and after I'd looked into everything, I was like, well, you, you fucked up. All right, cool. Let's go on to the next story, you know? I didn't give a fuck about it after 24 hours. Everyone cheats on their wives at some fucking point. Not that I do that. I don't condone cheating. That sounded fucking wrong. What I meant to say is it happens to everyone every fucking day. And it's not like a, well, that's it's why, not like a you rare know, Pepe meme. Well, yeah, people were kind of upset that we took the stance of, like, it was very human what he did because oh, as yeah. much as we want to crack jokes, like, yeah, we're not saying that it's not wrong what he did. We're just saying it's kind of standard, like, how many fucking guys have wandered Cheated over the DM wives. section and was just like, hey, you know, uh, may maybe not in those exact details of, like, uh, suffocate me with your vagina flaps. Let, let, let's, let's just but, put it this way. How, but, how many people in real life do you know that have cheated on their girlfriends or wives? Oh, everybody's a, a lot. cheater. Yeah, everybody. a lot. Almost exactly. everybody. Exactly. I can't claim to be a cheater because I've never been with a girl for that long, so fuck. How many times have you been with a guy, though? Oh, yeah. not in anyone yet, Andy. You want to hook up? <laughs> Uh, maybe. I don't know. Can you bring oh, me over baby. some kangaroo meat? <laughs> Fuck off. I, I want to put you in a kangaroo pouch and suffocate you while you stare oh, at my vagina. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Came. All right. Let, let's, let's, come to a, let's come to a solid conclusion. Meteor is fucked. Agreed? My, my solid conclusion is this. All right. All right, we'll, we'll go through our conclusions Just don't together. recap the whole conspiracy yeah, theory, we, Yeah, we don't need to hear the whole we fucking thing We heard it five again. times. Yeah. Okay, fine. I won't. I promise. I won't. All right. But I'm not good with promises. Um, <laughs> PewDiePie, PewDiePie, all right, is the biggest YouTuber on the planet. If the media, all right, a small media outlet like the Wall Street Journal, they're not big. They don't have influence. They don't have viewers. They don't have millions of people watching them. They're very small. But if the Wall Street Journal... All right, this very small group of people can control and manipulate um, the biggest YouTuber on the fucking planet, then we have a problem. We have uh, little people in control of very, very big people, and that's not fair. And it's not fair to be manipulated. It's not fair for us as a community to be felt this weak when we are not weak. We are much stronger than than these people over the Wall Street Journal. If they can do that, then we, as a YouTube community, are basically TV or Hollywood, where you know a few people just control everything. That you know everything is PC and everything is censored, and you know it's over the top political correctness. That is not what YouTube is, and that's not what YouTube should be. YouTube has always been about us and expressing ourselves without censorship and we should not be bowing down to these rules and these regulations of a generation uh previous to us we are our own generation we are our own people we are our own entity and we should be able to govern and police ourselves and if any outside forces or sources try to do this we should fight back to the fullest extent of our ability because this is not theirs 
It's ours. Okay, Martin Luther Keem. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bait It Podcast. I just like to remind you on Sunday, Shay Carl got exposed in the fucking DMs. Oh. On oh Monday, fucking Shut PewDiePie got up. dropped from Maker Shut and Disney. Up. And on Shut Tuesday, Maker Shut came out that they were dropping people anyways. Do not let them control oh. your Alex mind. Alex is stupid. Say cheese. Bye.